Here we're gonna build our dream gym completely made out of primitive material. Got a dumbbell. That is a dumbbell. I mean, I think we need some help. This is one of world's best wood carvers, Sander Baum. His last name literally means tree. He has his own wood carving team, won the biggest competitions, and today we will build a gym in his backyard. He started with the dumbbells right away. Cut it here, remove, remove, like this. You told me you never made a gym, but actually you're just sculpting a dumbbell right now. Yeah, that's right. Principles are the same. This is a normal blade for normal cutting. And we use the special blade, it's smaller. And you can make curves. curves. I really like this more than our dumbbell. Sander works insanely fast. This dumbbell was basically usable in only 10 minutes. Editing for 10 years is worth nothing here. Sander tells us we have to send it. But before we're touching any machines, I wanted to ask him one specific question. What is the worst injury you've ever gotten? Cut my leg open. Completely Cut your leg open? This protections I had on, shorts. Nothing. 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 It ripped me open here. With a chainsaw? I think 25 stitches to no repair way. it. After that accident, always. always. Just from the sanding, the flex in, you can still see it here. Oh yeah. This is car. From the sander? Yeah. That we're gonna use right now? Yes. After some reassuring words from Sander, we had to go for it. My eyes. That's way better. Safety first. Sander was working on the other dumbbell. Obviously, 10 times faster than us. By the way, this is level one, the small level. After 30 minutes of luckily no blood, but enough sweat and tears, we kind of finished two dumbbells. Prediction how much the weight is? Ooh, good question. I think seven and a half. I think a bit more, I think eight. Six kilograms. Six kilogram dumbbell. I put on my safety pants and I will, for the first time in my life, try to use a chainsaw. Don't try to hit the sand. Okay, so I should not hit the ground. No. Okay, I will really do my best. This feels very epic. Measure twice, cut once. That is a big dumbbell. That is a, <laughs> that is a heavy ass dumbbell. 15.6 kilograms, wow. But now we're missing one important thing. A dumbbell wreck. We came up with this idea and design. Is this possible? We're gonna try it. I trust this man with my life. Are you impressed with our design? Oh, really? We impressed him. <laughs> Let's put him in a gym. Sander let us choose where we want to build the gym, which is here, right next to his bed and breakfast. And at the end, Sander will decide if the gym is good enough to stay. And then we literally added a gym to his BMB, at their own risk, of course. This is already a workout. Here. We need to find the perfect piece of wood in order to create the perfect bench. Not weirdly shaped, not too big, not too small. It needs to be perfect for the bench. But with hundreds of logs here, wait, where do all these trees come from? It's all wood what have to go. You basically buy up a lot of wood that they would otherwise throw away. Yes, yes, or chip it or whatever, and I give it a second life. We need to measure every single piece of wood to see if it's worthy of the bench. He's really like giving it to us. <laughs> Here you go. But without any luck. Too wide, I think, right? Too thick. Too thick, yeah. That is too thick. Oh, fuck. Until I noticed this perfect looking piece. So Sander picked it up and brought it back to the workshop. That's our bench. We have to cut something off so we can throw it on the sawmill. Okay, so we're gonna cut this in half. This will be the base of the bench and we're gonna put the main part of the bench on here try to fit it deeper what do you think i think it should be deeper and indeed deeper is better well i mean okay okay this is clean and it also feels really smooth i have to say that's a proper bench this is perfect now it's kind of starting to look like a gym we're basically building you a free gym I need it, so... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need it. Gains, straight up. It's... So how does this work? It's basically a drill. <laughs> Loosen a little bit up. Oh yeah, perfect. Whoa, it's an entire deadlift. <laughs> I mean, that is solid. So we need something to rack it on. And of course, Sander has the tool for just that. That's a lot of force. <laughs> Now we have the same size. So this perfectly fits. 
I feel more manly right now. Do you feel manly all the time? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so the bench is basically finished. Something that isn't finished is the gym. But it's really starting to look like a proper gym though. It is gonna be a big challenge to actually finish this. Day two, we arrived early in the morning and noticed someone was already working. We literally just arrived here and his son is helping us with the dumbbells. The dumbbells were almost finished, but you were not completely happy with them. You think you can? they can be better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You even involved your son? Yeah, pulled my bed and said, come, you have to help us. So how old are you? I'm 17 at the moment. Then you're learning everything from your dad. I don't think there is a better teacher at the moment. I also don't think so. What do you think of your dad doing this? I think it's very cool. It's creative. You're giving a tree a new life. It sounds like you're proud of your dad. Yeah, that's right. And he's literally constantly working. How often is he working? Every day. Every day. Do you want to do this as well? I want to uh, make furniture from wood with my own style. Would you say inspired by your dad? Um, yes, I think so. You're not going to be making a, a gym out of wood. It's going to be furniture. We can do both. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make a barbell with actual weight plates. So that's what we're going to do right now. Ah, that's a good amount of weight. The level one, level two, level three. So in order to make the weights fit, we need to drill some holes. We're now drilling the hole where the barbell is going to be in. Yeah, this works. All the primitive weights done. Lunch and protein gains. Shout out to my protein. We've had no time to work out. Also, because there is no gym, we're building it. Luckily, in our workout app, you can change the exercises to the bodyweight alternative. Or you can even get a complete bodyweight 90-day challenge. It's in the App Store, Play Store. Check it out, download it, and get a seven-day free trial. After lunch, we saw Sander working on something. The man never stops. Look at this. Now I'm just getting excited to lift. They look like real weight plates. That's a compliment. It's the biggest compliment you can get. Let's see if it fits. Is that gonna work? Wait, let me help you. Ooh. Oh. I'm so excited to test this out, but first we need to make it safe. This is the stop for the weight that stops the weight moving to the middle and actually makes it usable. All right, use your skills with the seaman knot. Seaman? <laughs> yeah, I will trust that with my life. Yeah, right? Let's see if this actually works. Oh yes, that works. But will it actually hold? Because this looks like a lot of weight. We're gonna test the entire gym out at the end. Let's measure out the rest of the gym. How wide should the pull-up bar be? Like, let's grab some wood. Oh, Stan, 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 stop, stop. Almost broke the machine. It's crazy that he allows me to drive in this thing. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Whoa. Everything all right? So they got loose. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. You fixed it? We fixed it. We are lucky this time. I got a little worried right there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we have all the wood for the gym. Let's finish it. All right, so we're gonna drill some holes and then I'm gonna drill Stan in his <laughs> Lift it up and stick it in. This Boom. is gonna be the pull-up bar. This is gonna be the dip bar. They're not always straight. There's nothing wrong with having a curve. That one is really curved. Damn. <laughs> if you do this as a day job, you get pretty strong. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> Did you hear that? This is gonna be a legit calisthenics park. Boom. And the last bar is in. Now we need to make the primitive concrete for the hole. If you let me go, <laughs> I will. Yes, there you go. Okay. Primitive. Okay, so we need sand in here and we need water. This feels pretty sturdy. Let's finish the gym. The last piece of equipment. And as you'll see during the testing, also by far the most advanced piece of equipment. <laughs> Give it a try. Oh, he's doing it. That's insanely heavy. If you have a good attachment, this will be just like the gym. Sander started working on the attachment and we did some final touches. The gym is finished. primitive gym. First piece of equipment, the dumbbells. We got some massive dumbbells over here. Easy. Oh, they look heavier than 50. You can have a really good workout with this. Yeah. 
and I, it's 20 percent more manly but also the nice thing about the wreck that we build you can use it to row oh yes here we go oh, oh look at those you with the number of the wave nice then sender dropped off one last thing oh my son at the light once what <laughs> my men built the biggest primitive dumbbells ever these are massive oh that's a good lift Please don't die. Easy. You have any clue how much they weigh? Uh, I think 30 kilograms each. Yeah, I believe that. Oh. Are they even like usable? That's how That's how big they are. I mean, you can do shrugs with it. You can do shrugs with them. Yeah. Maybe, maybe walking lunges. This is insanely big. Yes, nice, nice, nice. You ready? I'm ready. Wow. Boom. Range of motion has to suffer a little bit, but more manly than ever. <laughs> The bench, this one worked out way better than I thought it yes. would. Yes. It looks so clean. Let's see if we pick the strong enough bar. Oh, okay. There you go, come on. Yes. Yes. Boom. You just gotta lift with a little bit of uh, like wood in your eye, but hey. Let's go, let's go. Woo. But. We can do more with this. We can't skip legs. Let me test this out. Boom, three racket like this. Oh, this works perfectly. Wow. It looks so cool though. Boom. Oh, we also have the realistic plates. Oh, of course. 20 kilograms, 45 pounds. You actually did it. How long did this take? Oh, uh, I, I didn't count. <laughs> I didn't, stop, stop counting after hours. Boom. Boom. But I mean, of course, this is also just a barbell, so we can also use it for curls. Multifunctional. The bench is a success. Onto that one. The body weight setup, a pull-up bar and dip bars. This might be my favorite. Will it hold us? Okay. Oh, steady. Easy. I mean, this is just a perfect pull-up bar. Can, can you muscle, muscle up? up? Rock, paper, scissors, who goes first? Uh -huh. It's kind of an honor. I mean, it's the first muscle up, but maybe also the last. Easy. Boom. Also, the poles aren't moving that much. Easy. The only thing that's harder than with a normal bar is that the bar is harder to spin your hands around because obviously it's wood. That problem is a lot of good for dips. This is just an amazing dip bar. This is perfect. I think we can literally do anything here that we would do in a normal park. On to the next one. The tree lift. And also the name was given by the guy who should definitely be here right now. So we got holes in the log right here. And then if you put the rope through, then you can put a stick in there. And this should just keep it up. Can I, can I let it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is level one of five, the easiest. How does that feel? That feels like a legit gym. Can you try some extension with this? Oh, face pulls. Oh, Jeff Cavalier is very happy right now. I think we can level it up. And yeah, level two. Boom. Thunder, do you want to try it? Oh, yes. I don't I can't, I can try it, but. You, uh, you can definitely do this. I mean, look at all the machines you're just working with the entire day. You're definitely strong yeah, enough. Yeah, but it's, this is not my cup of tea. <laughs> oh, easy. Pull it down to the chest. Lean, out, lean, lean back a bit. Oh, yes, oh. yes. Yes, perfect. <laughs> you want to try it? Oh, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, there look you go. Those, look at those gains. Look at those Strong. gains. The last level. He's locking his feet right there, which is also how Sander designed this. Oh. <laughs> I need to lay like this to counterweight it. If I do, oh, wait. These are just body weight rows. How much do you weigh? Uh, 60 kilograms. <laughs> yes, you can hang from him. Definitely getting a good back workout in. On to the last thing. How would you call this? I think the personalized handbag. This is a personalized handbag, or how would we call this? A kettlebell. This is a kettlebell. And we got the brownie logo on it, and also the Gymshark logo, of course. So we can do all kinds of kettlebell exercises. This is the only one I know. Boom. Boom. But now the big question is, what do you think of the gym? Ah, uh, I was skeptical, but I think it is Perfect. Did we add something to your Airbnb that you can now say we also have a gym? Oh yeah, really. We we will advertise with it. <laughs> I thought maybe I gonna, but now I had to let it say it's perfect. You're gonna leave yeah, it? Yeah, I, I will leave it. <laughs>
That is a mission accomplished, yes. bro. We spent two full days on this gym. I mean, without him, we would have probably been done in like five years. And then it would not look this good. Let us know in the comments down below what we should build with next, what materials we should use, and we'll see you in the next episode.